This video is going to walk you through how to measure EMG activity using iWorks. So we're going to be using this data acquisition box. You need to make sure that it's plugged into a power source in the back. And also there's a USB cable that you're going to plug into the back. Make sure the box is connected to your laptop. And next we're going to use this iWire B3G. We're going to be running a two lead EMG with a ground electrode. So we're using green, black, and red. Make sure that the electrodes of the same color are plugged in and the electrodes are going to snap right into the lead wires. The red and green wires are the active ones and the green is the ground. This is going to be plugged into the front of the data acquisition box to channel one. And after you have everything set up, go ahead and flip your box to the on position. You'll see the little green light in the front come on, let you know that your box is getting power. So I've got my electrodes on. Here's my green ground electrode. I have my red and black electrodes on my anterior forearm. I'm going to measure EMG activity of my flexors. Make sure that you clean your skin off really good with alcohol before you try to take any measurements. Once you're all set up, you're going to go to the desktop and open up LabScribe. You should see this box that tells you that the hardware has been found. If you don't see that, you need to make sure your data acquisition box is turned on. Hit OK, go to Settings, choose hum Human Muscle, and Antagonistic Muscles. A PDF is going to pop up. We don't really need that, so you can just minimize that file. There's a couple settings that we need to change. Our speed is fine. We can just leave that. We do need to update our display time to 40 seconds. So type in 40 and hit enter. We also need to change this channel unit to EMG. Now we're only going to be running this top channel here. So the bottom channel we can actually just drag down because we're not going to be using it anyway. When you're ready to run your tracing, you can click record. And the red tracing there is our EMG um, raw data channel. You can play around with these little magnifying glasses. The one in the middle um, is auto scale. You can either make your tracing bigger or smaller, depending on how you like to see it. I'm also picking up some noise on my tracing just because I'm moving around. So any movement is going to be picked up on your EMG. But then you can see I'm starting to do some very specific um, flexion um, contraction, contractures of my um, forearm flexors. So you can see those bursts of activity with um, kind of a quieter period in between them. This is what we want to see with our EMG tracing so we can identify when the muscles are turned on and then rest periods in between. So I'm going to stop my recording, and here are my specific muscle bursts, and that's exactly what I want to see. So we're going to take some measurements. I'm going to use my two cursors, the two red lines. You can just click and drag anywhere you want on the screen. So I'm going to put them at the beginning and end of my burst of activity there. I'm going to go up to my Analysis tab, click on that, and that's going to give me this measurement here. This is called the Absolute Integral, and the number underneath gives us the amount of muscle activity during that burst of contraction. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to measure the next burst. I just move my cursors again to the beginning and end of the burst, and I'm going to look under the heading of Absolute Integral. There's my data. The 
absolute integral number is the number you want to record and keep track of in order to compare. You can scroll back and forth through your tracing to try to find like the best um, burst of activity. When you're finished, you can go under File, click New, and if you hit No, not to save it, it'll just give you a clean uh, screen so that you can record a new tracing.